Hello, Merry Christmas, once again. This is a story called Phantom Limb. This is a story, I suppose. I suppose it's a story about a man for whom everything is changing, or everything has already changed. Phantom Limb. He was walking to the off-licence. His leg was stiff and he needed the fresh air, clear his head. They had been drinking since 11, few friends. The tenors in his pocket, bulging, plenty of money to spend on top-ups. Beer, definitely. Spirits, something special for the ladies, Baileys or something, seeing as it was Christmas. Wine, no, stick with the vodka. Vodka and a few fags. Everyone's on the e-cigs these days, but it's Christmas. Vodka, fags and snacks. Pringles, yeah? Yeah, Pringles. You can't drink on an empty stomach. The day his dad retired from the post, people had him in for drinks, sherry, wine, beer, whatever, all sorts. His dad knew everyone on his round by name. It was a different world then. He got so drunk he was sick, 11 o'clock in the morning. He'd never been drunk in his life before, never. He was virtually teetotal, his dad. Someone called the office and they came and put his bike in the back of the van and drove him home. And the next day, he was totally ashamed. He hasn't been in work now for five years. He's on DLA. Everything had changed. The shops were all open. Used to be shut on Boxing Day, didn't it? Apart from the big stores up on Oxford Street. It's not like Christmas used to be. What used to be the old co-op has become the Sari Palace. Due as the butchers, that's Afro imports. Necklaces, carved wood and stuff. The rest is all takeaways and nail and beauty bars, charity shops. The library's shut, the pubs are where the spoons. He doesn't know anyone anymore. Big family of Poles in the off licence, never the same person twice. Used to be Mr Woodward. He knew all the Woodwards. One of the boys joined the RAF. He doesn't even know his neighbours now. There's Chinese on one side of them, Greeks or something on the other. He gets his wallet out to pay. There's the old half a pound note. Him and his twin brother Terry tore the pound note in half, what, 20 years ago now, 25 more? It was the night before Terry emigrated to Australia. When we next see each other, we'll put that pound note together and buy ourselves a drink. He'd never made it over, and Terry had never made it back. Why would he? A pound won't buy you a drink now, will it? Boxing Day, they used to have everyone in, all the neighbours sharing the leftovers, bit of ham, bit of cheese and biscuits. And on Christmas Eve, his mother always went to midnight mass, the whole street did. You knew where you were back then. The woman he's with at the moment, she says she's a Buddhist. She's all right, though. Quarter Jamaican. He's London Irish. England for the football and the Olympics, Ireland for the boxing. He is broad-minded. He's not even UKIP. He used to be conservative, but now he's just nothing. His MP came round a few years ago, campaigning at the last election, and he knocked on the door and he let the MP say his piece, and then he started asking about all the immigrants coming here and taking over and taking our jobs, and the MP yawned. And that was it. That tells you everything you need to know, doesn't it? That's all you need to know. He hasn't voted since. He was a brickie before. He even had a job in Berlin after the fall of the wall. Rebuilding civilization, wasn't it? Happy days. But after the accident, and now with all the changes, and he gets these sort of stabbing pains. Phantom limb, they call it. The drink helps. The drink is medicinal. Merry Christmas.